Hello, my name is Vasil Gatru. Uh, as you can see, I am currently flying a Tangu. Uh, this is a rail fit Tangu. Its design is mostly used for long range fleet support as well as you can get solo uh, kills with this. throw up the ship a bit. So, uh, as it's currently loaded, it's using the long range spike ammo, um, which when not in simulation says I get about 129 kilometers optimal. However, the ship cannot lock out that far, thus for the reason that there are SIBOs with scan res and targeting range scripts. Also a tracking computer. So we'll put it into the simulation mode and actually show it lit up. Um, so with the actual SIBOs on and the tracking computer, it has an optimal of about 150 kilometers and the actual targeting range for the tanku is now 154 kilometers so I'm actually now able to shoot out that far and be able to lock out that far um, no, this is with a optimal script for the targeting computer uh, tracking our targeting range script for the sensor booster as well as a scan res script for the other um, well this is the version or the way I generally tend to fly it uh, there is other ways um, by loading let's see what's it uranium yeah, load the whole ship there we go. Uh, with uranium, as you can see, you no longer need, you are now underneath the max locking range. So instead of using just a targeting range, we now d uh, double scan res it. And because we are now slightly closer, we'll throw a tracking uh, script in the computer instead. And now we're at a 54 kilometer range with 11.3 uh, tracking. Uh, note everything is that is being shown is done with skills and also there are a few implants that I have. Um, we'll throw the second longest range ammo in real quick. Uh, which uh, with this ammo, you are still able to go without using the targeting range script. Um, you will have a 100 kilometer fall off, but obviously your optimal will be at 86. So, uh, we'll switch it out with the shorter range ammos, so you can get an idea of that. Uh, with the shorter range ammo, you get a optimal of about 36 kilometers. Um, the only real thing that's going to change these optimals and falloffs is either A, implants, or B, the tracking scripts uh, used in the tracking computer. But uh, antimatter, though it gives you the most damage, generally not used for most things um, I generally will use it in the sense of bashing structures or assisting in that uh, the obvious reason I have uh, well over 10,000 rounds of antimatter tech one sitting in the hole um, it does burn through ammo quite quickly uh, but that's because of its three second cycle time so it takes about five seconds to reload 
and each cycle of the guns is about three seconds. So that gives you the ability to constantly lay down constant fire on things and allows you to, though it only shows 2000 alpha here, um, it, that's the reason its DPS is actually rather high, even though it is a railgun fit. Um, sticking the shortest range ammo in, which gives me an optimal of about 18 kilometers of fall off of 32, but it does give me the best tracking, so that's, I guess, the trade off in that respect. Uh, it is a fit with two adaptive in balls. Now, this is to give you some kind of tank. Um, mostly to keep you from, you know, instantly dying. And a micro warp drive to help you boost around the grid. Um, obviously you can't do a cloak, but... <clears throat> it helps with the ability to move around. Um, now, you can use this with pretty much any of the ammos and get, uh... and get most frigates, most interceptors, most anything that's small game, you can easily get off the grid. Um, I do have Pyrolancia 2s in here for obvious damage, um, which does help. Uh, there are the anti pharmacons for tracking. Um, I've never had to use them. However, I keep them in the hold just in case. Never know. Um, now we'll go over some of the other things. Uh, the rigs are anti-EM screens, so it gives me that bit of a uh, buffer. Uh, the medium hybrid e collision accelerator uh, is designed to increase and to increase the ship's hybrid damage, obviously making it use more power grid, but we, as you can see, we have quite a bit of power grid left. Uh, we use the optimization, a uh, chassis optimization uh, for the propulsion, uh, the magnetic infusion basin, so we can actually use rail guns. Uh, it's covert fit. And the Gravitron Reactor, I believe, is to help with the capacitor for the micro warp drive that we have fit to this. Now, um, I have gotten at least a few decent kills with this. Uh, I generally use it as a fleet support, but I do solo kill with it as well. Um, pretty much it's a fairly cheap ship, so losing one is, what, 530 mil? So it's not terribly expensive. Uh, the only thing I think that uh, really is besides the hull expensive is some of the implants that I use but generally it should all together come down around under a bill um, but it is a quite capable ship uh, I as I said generally use it in fleets and that's pretty much everything <laughs>